what we might describe as fainting is not necessarily what patients describe as fainting. So there are lots of reasons why people will lose consciousness. But what I suppose we mean as, as doctors about um, why somebody might faint is where the brain decides that it's not getting enough blood um, and therefore the brain causes the patient to lose consciousness so that the, the patient will fall to the floor and then their head and their heart are at the same level. So um, about 50% of people who faint, it will be in an emotional circumstance, perhaps something gory or something to do with blood. We're not really quite certain as to why people will faint in that circumstance. Um, another 50% may occur in those people when they're standing for a long period of time or sitting for a long period of time and blood pools uh, in their feet. Um, so that's very common, but I think that sometimes it can be quite surprising to patients uh, as to why they might feel faint in certain circumstances. Uh, so we see quite a lot of people who will feel faint on a plane uh, because they're sat still for a long period of time. It's actually quite dehydrating on planes. So quite a common story is I was sat in my seat, I fell asleep, and because they're relaxed, the blood pools and they wake up in the middle of fainting. Um, it can also happen in restaurants um, because when you eat, a lot of the blood goes to uh, your stomach um, and so it forgets about your brain. We're also sitting much longer um, in a restaurant than we might do at home, so there's less moving around. It may be warm and that will set off a faint as well. So they, they can be quite surprising reasons for people to feel faint, but actually when you see a lot of fainting patients, you realise that there are quite a, a lot of common features. So, I mean, that's a, it's a very interesting question and unfortunately there is absolutely no answer. So the, the first part of that to say is that POTS is a syndrome, so it's a collection of symptoms and not a disease. So it may actually be lots of different things and therefore that, those different things may be affected by different medications. The difficulty, uh, as I think many patients will POTS, uh, with POTS will realise, um, is that we've only recognised it as a condition for the last 25 years and we really just don't know enough about it. What we understand is that, that it may be a combination of either the heart going too fast, the blood volume being too small, the blood vessels not tightening up enough. And so a lot of the medicines that we might prescribe will deal with all of those individual aspects, but there may be different uh, problems for different patients. And because of that difficulty, it means that what doctors like to do, which is big studies of hundreds and hundreds and thousands of patients to work out which drug works, they just haven't been done. So what we learn about whether medications make a difference is actually by listening to patients and by understanding these are the sort of problems and then we will try them out. And if you feel better, well, that's excellent um, and we'll have to accept that. So the problem from a medical perspective is that we can't actually prove that they work and so we have to treat people on an individual basis and see these are the range of medicines, we'll try these and let's see if we can get you feeling better. It's certainly helpful to attend the meeting because often there are a, um, a group of clinicians who've been collected together who have expertise and interest in these areas. Um, as we've discussed, um, patients who black out, patients who have POTS um, are not necessarily well served by a large number of doctors, a large number of specialist nurses and other clinicians. Uh, it may be very difficult to find the right expert uh, there isn't necessarily a huge amount of information on the internet, although obviously STARS and POTS UK uh, try to get as much out there as possible. So the, the, the benefit of coming to a patient day is to, to hear the experts talk, cut through the rumour that you can find on the internet um, and actually ask questions of people who are treating hundreds and hundreds of patients.